This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Next, we're going to prepare Active Directory. So I'm in my directory where my Exchange installer is. I'm going to run dot slash setup.exe. And if we're doing this from a command prompt, we don't need the dot slash in front of it here. Slash prepare AD. And since this is my first Exchange server, I'm going to specify my organization name slash organization name colon. And in quotes here, I'm going to put my organization name. So I'm just going to call it corp. And an exchange organization basically defines your whole messaging environment. It's not something that a user is going to see or anything like that. For the most part, uh, it's there forever. So we, once we decide what it is, that's what it's going to be, even if we upgrade exchange and things like that. So I personally like to use something a little bit generic because whatever company we're working for, we don't know what's going to happen to that company. If we give it the name of the company and then the company changes its name or gets acquired or something like that, well, we can't go back in and change the organization name. So that old company name will be around in our environment for a while. So keeping it generic is kind of a nice way to do it. And then slash I accept exchange server license terms. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. So first, it's going to copy the files. Now, one thing to note is we can actually add a switch called slash Active Directory Split Permissions colon true to this command, and that will set up split permissions with Active Directory. So if we have a, a situation or a setup in our company where Active Directory is completely handled by another group, and let's say we handle the exchange side, then we can set that up. That way... From the exchange side, we cannot create uh, user accounts, uh, groups, things like that, objects in Active Directory. Those need to be created first in Active Directory, and then we can mail enable them in Exchange. So a lot of times, larger companies have this setup. So if you want to create a new user, it goes to the Active Directory team. Once that's set up, then it gets transferred over to the Exchange team, and then the Exchange team creates the mailbox for that user. If that's the case, then we can use that slash Active Directory split permissions colon true switch to this command. And it'll create that setup for us. But by default, I'm going to be able to use uh, the Exchange tools to not only create mailboxes, but I could create a user account in Active Directory at the same time. Down here, it lets me know that Setup will prepare the Exchange organization for Exchange 2013. It didn't find any Exchange 2010 in my environment, so after this is completed, we won't be able to install any Exchange 2010 servers. So we can't go backwards and work with Exchange 2010. All right, Active Directory was prepared successfully.